Well, the head of a Russian military contracting group says that they will be pulling out of Ukraine. In an angry video message, the head of the Russian mercenary fighting force called the Wagner Group says that its troops will pull out of the city of Bakhmut next week, and that would leave Putin without a significant portion of his ground forces. In a statement today, the group's boss accused President Putin's chief of general staff and the defense minister of, quote, starving his forces of ammo. He said Wagner's losses would be five times less if they were adequately supplied and defended his troops by saying, quote, they came here as volunteers and are dying so you can get fat in your offices. All right, we are welcoming in retired U.S. Army Major General William Inyard, also a former member of Congress representing the state of Illinois. It's always great to see you. I thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Good to be with you, Natasha. Help us understand, will this be a huge hit to Putin if these troops actually pull out? Well, if, uh, it certainly would, would have a big impact on, on the Ukrainian front. Uh, the uh, Wagner forces are a very large proportion of the forces uh, currently uh, in, in that region. Uh, the Ukrainians, on the other hand, are saying that uh, actually uh, Wagner forces are being pulled from other parts of the front to, to be sent to Bakhmut. So uh, who's to say? But we've seen Prigozhin make uh, some pretty radical statements in the past. Uh, and frankly, what this really does is it exposes the rival factions within the Russian military and paramilitary elite. Uh, you know, Putin has changed commanders like I changed shirts uh, in order to try and appease these folks and, and get a commander in there who can take care of the situation. So far, he's not been successful with that. Help us uh, understand the context of how much of Russia's military actually belongs to them versus these sort of contractors. Well, the uh, Wagner Group has really plussed up over the last few years. It, it used to be about 5,000 folks, so uh, it's called a, a good-sized brigade. Uh, but now they're up to about 50,000 people. Uh, he was allowed to go into the prisons and recruit. Um, these are, by and large, not professional uh, soldiers. At one point, they were large. Uh, the Wagner Group was largely composed of veterans of the Russian military. But today, it's it's far more uh, uh, convicts and and uh, other folks who, frankly, couldn't get into the Russian military. Uh, but uh, at about 50,000 folks, it's it's a significant sized force uh, there in the uh, in the Ukrainian front. Um, Wagner also has a few uh, troops uh, scattered around Africa and in Syria, but, but the bulk of them today are in Ukraine. You know, with both this development and also the potential false flag that we are seeing with that alleged drone video over the Kremlin and Russia trying to point the finger at the U.S., do you think that we are seeing an increasingly desperate Russia and Putin in this moment? Oh, I, I don't think there's any question about that. Um, this uh, this drone episode over the Kremlin is a, is a prime example of that. Um, I, it, it seems to me that by that it's in all likelihood a, a Russian ploy. It's uh, the Ukraine um, would not be interested in sending drones over uh, the Kremlin for a couple of reasons. Uh, first of all, they need their armed drones to be able to make the attacks on oil refineries and on air bases and logistics centers that they have that we have seen uh, developing here in the last few weeks. Uh, additionally, Ukraine's very well aware that neither the U.S. nor NATO uh, want uh, Ukraine to be directly attacking the Kremlin. Uh, that doesn't really serve their cause. They need to continue to be able to portray them as the uh, victims of Russian aggression, of Putin's uh, aggression here, uh, and uh, in so doing, um, be able to claim that they're simply acting in self-defense. Okay. Major General William Enyard, always appreciate the context. Thank you so much for your time. Absolutely. Good to be with you, Natasha. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.